Yeah, so on the 24th of February, my account got hacked, basically. I had no access to it whatsoever. Uh, this happened at around sort of mid-late afternoon sort of time. And obviously when I realised I wasn't very happy about it at all. I couldn't access any of Google services with my, my email address. So, um, yeah, at the time I didn't really know what to do. Uh, how I think it happened was... Well, how I know it happened, actually, to be fair. Um, I uh, Every now and then I get emails from various companies and that. And basically they just want me to show their product and promote it and that in some adverts or just, you know, stuff like that. And usually I just ignore them, partly out of principle, and also I think it's quite cringeworthy having to listen to my miserable voice try and sound uh, enthusiastic about some software or whatever, which I'd never heard of. But, um, yeah, I got kind of curious about how much they actually offer, so I, I responded to the recent few that I, I'd gotten, and I got responses, and they basically just said, oh great, glad you're interested, here's a... Here's the product we want you to advertise, here's how much we offer, and here's the um, uh, digital contract to sign. And this one, the one in particular that got me was uh, some video editing software, so I thought, alright, this is actually somewhat relevant. And they said it was uh, $2,000 for a pre-roll ad on, on my videos, and I thought, you know, <laughs> that's quite a bit. So. Uh, yeah, I, I opened the, the PDF file they sent me, which they said was a contract, which would have a lot of uh, stuff to sign and stuff to read in it. And it didn't seem unusual to me because I've read and signed PDF contracts before, so I just thought, you know, that's kind of just how the way you do things over the internet when you need to sign stuff formally. But, um, yeah, when I opened the PDF, instead of actually having a PDF, it, my computer just froze for a second before giving me control back again. And then I just thought, okay, you gave me like a dodgy PDF, so I responded to them saying there's no contract there, and so on. And then later, when I was checking my YouTube channel, I noticed it just logged me out, and I tried getting back in, and it just wouldn't let me. And then uh, I, I did actually Google it, and because my email address was a, an old Hotmail one, uh, at the time, there were some recent problems along with uh, Google services and Hotmail accounts syncing together or something like that. So I just thought, oh, it's still got ongoing problems, so that's why I can't sign in. So I didn't think much of it. And then a couple hours later, my my channel had just all been changed. All my videos were gone, my name had changed, my pictures changed. And there was a live stream, well obviously it wasn't live, actually live. But yeah, it was a live stream of just... Elon Musk running about Tesla and cryptocurrencies and stuff like that and that's when I realised, you know, my account's been hacked and it was over. Well, I thought it was over. <laughs> when I when I started to search for solutions and that, it was all just a generic nonsense like, oh, go in and change your email address and it's like, I can't go in. <laughs> so there wasn't a lot of help really, just on the generic answers. But um, when I'd been searching around, for um, any other help that I could find, uh, I found out that that sort of hack from you know turning it all into sort of Tesla cryptocurrency themed uh, is quite common on YouTube. I mean, it's not like common common, but as far as having your account hacks goes, it, it's quite common. And uh, I read from some other people that the most common solution is just to reach out to YouTube on Twitter. So I did that. Uh, that wasn't the first thing I did though. Um, before I did that, I I had the um, uh, what's it called? The YouTube Partner Support email. Because from a few months ago, I, I sent them some emails for something about something, and so I tried emailing them, but I just got like a generic automated response. And I assume that's because the email I used to contact them was no longer a YouTube Partner, so just they just ignored it. There's also the, the YouTube community forums, but yeah, I figured that's not really going to get me a proper answer if it's just other random people responding. I tried it though anyway, but yeah. Yeah, then I, then I reached out to YouTube on Twitter, and I thought, I don't really use Twitter, so I don't really know what I'm doing, but I just sent a bunch of tweets out to the various YouTube Twitter accounts, and I got a response quite quickly. It didn't feel quick at the time, but when, when you look back, it was... Like, like, 
I can't remember how long it was. But it wasn't like a huge amount of time. And so, um, yeah, I just needed to follow them. And then they sent me some some messages. And they sent me uh, a hijacking form. And I just filled it out. I had a load of questions in there about my channel and what had happened to it and some recent stuff. And I had various questions that the channel owner would know, but some just random person wouldn't. So, But I felt quite confident when I was filling it out, so it's quite easy. And then I sent it off. And then they said it would be returned in one business day, and this is happening on... I filled it out on Saturday, so the business day would mean Monday at the earliest. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd just have to wait for that and see, see what they say. But then... Uh, Saturday night more to be fair I think it was Sunday morning like 1am I had uh, an email come back from the YouTube partner support which I emailed and they they told me uh, that the the email association of my account had been changed and, and they gave me the one that had been changed to and so there's a load of like generic instructions there oh try logging in and stuff like that and I thought oh, yeah no chance it's gonna work but I did it anyway and the um, there were obviously I didn't know the password to the the hacker's email address that they used, but there's the option to recover the password and the recovery password of it, not the uh, the recovery account of it, which I will send a recovery code to, was my actual email address. So when I requested a password change on their account, it sent the recovery stuff to my account. So I was just able to log into uh, to their account that way. So. I got into their account, changed all the passwords and that, got my own account back. And yeah, that's basically how I solved it. Um, I was lucky enough because I knew the YouTube creator support, my old partner support, whatever it's called, email address. Uh, I probably shouldn't share it because I don't think it's meant to be public, but um, I'll put a link in the, the description of how you find it. And so yeah, otherwise go on to, if it happens to you, go on to YouTube's Twitter and just tweet at them, my account's been hacked, blah blah blah, can you help me? And make sure you follow them as well. And they'll, they'll send you a DM and then you just say what your channel is and they'll send you uh, a hijacking form, you just fill it out and yeah, that's, that's probably the most reliable way. So here's the, the email I had from them. Um, it just kind of looks like the way I'd expect this sort of email to look. So there wasn't really any red flags to me when I when I read through it. Uh, now that I know it's a phishing email, uh, the only thing that stands out to me is the the email address is at hey.com, and you know I'd never heard of whatever that is, but I did look it up, and it turns out it's actually a legit email service. So even that, you know, it's uncommon, but if it's legit and if it's what their company uses, then yeah, that's the way it is. Yeah, when I was able to log back into my account, uh, I went to my videos, they were all still there, they had just been set to private, so I set them all to public again, and of course removed all the, the crap videos that they uploaded to mine. Um, also went and checked on the security thingy that YouTube has and yeah there's lots of sign-ins and stuff being changed things like my recovery email being deleted security questions changed uh, new sign-ins from Spain you can also see that the recovery phone number had been changed password changed uh, two-step verification turned off so yeah they really tried to get into it and prevent me from getting it back but yeah, YouTube support is pretty good in the end. Also, when I was looking at the, um, the emails I had about promoting products, I had quite a few from them. Uh, the most recent three were all from them, so... There are some... well, I'd like to think they're legit ones, but... <laughs> who knows? I wouldn't trust them though, anyway, I'm kind of... you know, not doing that kind of thing. I guess that might be my punishment for even considering selling out. So yeah, the, the long story short, if your account gets hacked, either email uh, YouTube's partner support or message them on Twitter. 
I've put links down to their Twitter accounts and stuff like that below. So uh, yeah, definitely check them out if you get hacked or someone you gets hacked or whatever. And make a note of their email address as well. And about part 26 of the, the Alien Invasion animation. Uh, I'm still working on it. It's got a lot to do, but I've done quite a bit. Uh, I think it's it's almost 10 minutes long at the moment, and there's still some more to go. I say some, still quite a bit more. It'll probably be 15 minutes or so in length. So, um, yeah, I'd like to think that most of the harder bits are done, so the last 5 minutes would be quicker to animate than the previous 10, which I've already done. But, yeah, I'm still working on it, just it's going to take a long time. <laughs>